Now, when we are done with defining the tool, let's have a look at the save zones. The default template configuration comes with three different boxes, or zones. The transient contact zone is the big box to the right, enveloping the entire workspace of the robot. Here, the only contact that we foresee between the robot and the human is transient contact. As with all zones, users can set the name and modify the zone dimensions to match the real application. Users can also reposition vertexes to match our application, thereby making sure that we include the entire area of the robot where we foresee a contact between the robot and a human. Vertexes can also be added to support more complex geometries. The safety supervision, as predefined in this area based on transient contact, is the tool speed supervision. The value 434 mm per second that you can see here is just a recommended value. It is up to the users and system integrators to validate that the safety configuration and supervision values are suitable for the application at hand. The second zone to cover is the quasi-static contact zone. It represents the table surface and will be placed below the robot base. Here, we foresee potential clamping situations between the robot and the human operator, considering all the fixtures and pick-and-place positions. For example, the human hand could be stuck between the robot tool and the table, or a fixture. All these situations need to be handled within this zone. Now, if there are other fixtures elsewhere, the user must modify or add zones to handle such situations. As with previous zones, the geometry can be modified for a perfect fit with the real application. There are two supervisions that need to be set up for this quasi-static contact zone. The first is the same as for the transient contact zone, that is, tool speed supervision. In this case, the maximum speed allowed is very low, which we recommend. The user needs to decide and validate the speed to be able to react in the best way in case of a clamping situation. The second supervision that needs to be set up is the tool force supervision. This supervision monitors that the force exerted by the robot will not exceed a certain value. In this case, we have set a very low value of 70 Newton to be compliant with the norm. If the robot exceeds this force in a clamping situation, it will stop. The users and system integrators need to decide, measure and validate the suitable force value in the real application. The third zone that we need to set up is the small one around the robot base. This zone has the same safety supervisions as the quasi-static contact zone, but with a slightly different function, to avoid clamping situations between the tool or the upper arm and the robot base, which is a fixed element in the application. 